Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I think we're working on page two, but I gotta go back through my papers again. Just a second, let me figure it out. So that's four or five. Yes, we're working on page two. As you all know, well, not everyone, but everyone that watches me frequently know I um, do my books out of order to make sure that my colors and patterns are evenly distributed. Otherwise, I think what happens is you tend to use the um, patterns that you favor, um, which also happen to be the strongest images in the collection, and then it becomes front-loaded. So I um, operate out of order. I operate even when I'm out of order. How about that? <laughs> I'm so clever. All right. Well, it's been a long day of crafting. I've got a couple more pages yet to get out. And then um, then I'm off for the weekend for some, uh, some girl time. <clears throat> I've been kind of off the grid because of COVID. So I'm really looking forward to catching up with some friends and then just doing whatever I want. You know, working on a project if I want to, but doing whatever I want. No pressure. So this will be done pretty soon. Okay. So I'm doing a color block on this page. It's going to be a simple page with some um, fixed photo mats on it. So this is from the 12 by 12 <coughs> collection. And if you're familiar with this page, this is actually the other half of it. It goes like that. <clears throat> Actually, it goes like this. So this is the bottom half of the signature page, and this is the top half. So I wanted to make uh, use of what are the boldest images in the collection, at least on a couple of the pages, and I think I've managed to make that happen. All right, now we're going to cut this other strip to fit, which is right there. <clears throat> Oh, it's later in the afternoon and I'm losing my light. So hang on just a second. I'll be right back. Hey guys, sorry about that. My husband called me. I got distracted and I forgot to hit record. So I think I got this down and then I laid this down, which you need to trim to fit um, after you put this piece in. And this piece, when I say this piece, this piece is five and a half inches. So this is five and a half inches, and I came up with that size based on the pattern and where I wanted uh, this particular image to fall so that I could have photo mats around it without obstructing it. Dang it, I'm sorry I didn't hit the record button. So I put this down, and I also put it down with the option to make it a pocket, so only three of the four sides are glued. And then I'm going to add this photo mat here. And I think I'm just going to glue like this so that if I do want to put something in this pocket, it can go around the corner. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So we're going to glue it down like so. So my husband's been downtown um, working with uh, his team that's kind of flew in from everywhere. And uh, so I'm only communicating with him via phone calls. So I didn't, I didn't want to um, not take his call. So sorry about the interruption and the fact that I forgot that I hadn't turned my record back on. So that, it's a very simple page, but I like it. And that's a, a four by six, and this is a four by four photo. And actually I probably should have nudged it over just a little bit more so his nose wouldn't be buried. I don't think anybody's going to notice that but me. Um, but this is page two. And let me pull in page three so you can see how they work together. How's that? Pretty pretty cool, huh? So four by four, four by six. And then um, we color block the rest. This is five and a half. That's trimmed to fit. Okay, I think I covered it. I'll be back soon.